Hello everyone, this is my first unboxing video and I'm doing something I've been looking forward to unboxing for the last couple of days since it arrived. And it's in this rather large box and the only thing I've done is opened it up to take the receipt out. Very unassuming. Let's take it out. Airbags. Tissue paper. Anyway, let's open it up. Mm. You can almost see what it is through the paper. Now, I put this out on my Twitter and Facebook a couple of weeks ago. That I, was, I had ordered this and I was really, really looking forward to this. And it cost me a small fortune. This was £150. But I'm, as far as I'm concerned, well worth it. And I haven't even opened it yet. Let's open that up. Here we go. Put that on the side. Here we go. The beauty shop. Very reflective, the plastic. I didn't know that was going to be covered. But this is the Space 1999 Alpha Moon Base Stun Gun and Comlock. Now, I ordered this from A1 Games in. Where are they? Glasgow. Because everywhere I looked, this was sold out completely. But they had them. And I ordered one. And that looks absolutely wonderful. That looks great. What's it say on the back? Uh, Alpha Moon Base Stun Gun and Comlock featuring authentic lights and original sound effects. Light of communication screen. Stun and kill settings and sound effects. Actual dialogue from the classic TV series. One to one screen accurate replica. Complete with collected and uh, complete with collected display stats. God blimey! I remember watching this when I was in. A child in the 70s. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Anyway, it's opening it up. I know, I'm going to open it. I'm going to have these on display. They're not going to be left in the box. So I can already hear some people's hearts breaking, but that's what I'm going to do. Oh, poo. They work on AAA batteries. I've only got AAs. So that works on two, that works on three. I think I might have some. There we go, have a quick peek. <laughs> a few moments later. Well, after that, I finally found some AA batteries. <sighs> I have every other type of battery under the sun, except for those. So, let's try that again. Set the tape on the bottom. Mm, smells new. One of the stands. That's the other stand. Exactly the same. Little book there. there we've got dialogue up, audio on button one, sound effects on two, and there's the power button. Trigger activities, power, gently squeeze battery cover, either side to release, okay, fair enough. 
Oh, where do I start? Let's have a look at this one. Wow. Very silvery. Let's make that safe. Cool. It's done. Now these ain't made of metal, these are made out of plastic. But oh, that looks nice. Alright. Now this is where we find out if the batteries have got any life in them. Please have some life in you. Please, please, please. Right, let's find out. And the answer to that one is no, they don't. I'm going to have to go and get some batteries, but as it's now one o'clock in the morning, this is going to have to wait until tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Day two. Hello again everybody. Well, I've now got some batteries. <sighs> the frustrating thing is, you spend £150 on this. And yet they skimp on some really, really cheap batteries. So, that's a bit of a niggle for me. I mean, you're spending a lot on this. I could at least throw in some cheapy batteries. Anyway, now that we've got that, let's give this another go. So, let's try the gun first. Which, looks... Like I said before, it looks very nice, but there's no weight to it. It's completely plastic. So let's try some batteries in this one. Right, so this takes two AAAs. So unfortunately the only batteries I had the other day turned out to be dead because I've got them out of my dead battery pile. I thought they might have a little bit of life in them. That was wrong. Right, let's try this again. So let's now say I'm stunned. So the two little lights start up. Let's try and see what it's like on kill. Not that I'm going to kill anyone with this, because it's just, a, as my wife would say, a toy. But ah, I know, sacrilege. Ooh, blue lights. <sighs> that is nice. That is nice. Let's make it safe. Yep, yeah, I like that. I like that. Now, this is one thing that's going to make me look stupid, but both the display stands are exactly the same. And basically, I had this set up for the Comlink. I'm thinking, how am I going to put this? It just doesn't do anything because I was stupid and tired. You just turn it on its side and the gun rests like that. So it looks like that. So that looks very nice, very, very nice. For the about five people that come in the house and five, probably about one person that comes in and recognises for what it is. So anyway, so that's that. Let's put that there for a moment on its side. And let's try the Comlink. Now this, like the gun, very, very beautifully detailed. 
picture of Koenig on the side, which could easily be replaced if you wanted to cosplay with it. This is the battery cover. The one thing I will say is, again, the clip is plastic. That's not going to last very long if you're going to be cosplaying with it. So it's like, for how much it is, a metal one? Would it really have hurt? And I've also noticed mine's got a lovely, lovely black scratch on it. And I've, I've only just taken it out of the box. <sighs> but, and again, it's very, very light. It's actually me holding one of these in my hand is like after seeing them on the telly and so on. It's, it's just all oh. brings back memories of watching it on the telly and video, Blu-ray, DVD. I better do it. The series of basically every format that it's came out on. Anyway, let's put some batteries in and see what this does. There's a doo -doo -doo. Some dialogue button is number one. Please fire. We'll call all vehicles. Commander Koenig, urgent main mission. Right, lights up. Put various things on here. Let's see if I can get this right. There's the speaker down the bottom. Did you say anything else? Paul, Commander, keep all the eagles in standby positions. Yes, sir. Paul, cut the power. Paul, red alert. Evacuate the technical section, seal it off, and open the cellars to the surface. samples are pretty clear considering it's coming out a little diddy speaker so we've got sound effects on two oh see this is the, the screen's not very This is what you get with a sample. Red alert. Yes, Paul. Reconnaissance eagle ready on pack four. <sighs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I can see that easily getting annoying for people. But it's a nice little thing to have on your desk. If you've got a desk. I don't have a desk. So it's just going to go somewhere else. But that is nice. And then that's the end. Why is it going like that? Boom! There you go. That's 
how it looks like. So you're going to both of them together. Oh, that sound. That finger's down a chalkboard. So, am I happy with it? Yes. Would I spend 150 quid on this again? Uh, no. No. I mean, not being funny, 150 quid. This could easily have something like a, a Pi Zero in or something like that and a very, very tiny LCD screen in the top. This could have done a lot more for the amount of money you're paying. Because there must be enough space in there. Yeah, you could easily have a Pi Zero in there. Got a Linux thing running. Samples, video clips, all the rest of it. And that would have given it a little bit more weight as well. But, as it is, it's nice. But I wouldn't pay 150 quid for this. How much would I pay? 50, 60, 30 pound a piece. I mean, I haven't got buyer's regret or anything like that, but I think 150 quid is a bit much. But, I don't know, let's turn that off. I mean, there's not even any like, any light on here or anything to indicate that it's on. So when you press the button. Off. So, there we go. It's definitely something for a fan of Space 1999, but it'd have to be a heavy duty fan to pay this kind of money. And the thing is, as well, I was under the impression these were only being, there's a limited number of these. I mean, I could be very, very wrong with this, but there's absolutely nothing on the box to say, like, this is number X amount of some, of what run or anything. It's just very... Oh, it's a nice box. And I'm glad they didn't put any sellotape on it. Because not only does that discolour, but it's a pain in the arse. Oops. No, so, there we go. In summary, expensive for what it is, Looks great, but for the niggles with the batteries and the fact that he could have done so much more and for not that much more money. Especially like if you're doing these in bulk. This could have been so much better. That I don't like. The scratch is annoying, but as it's on its back, nobody's gonna see it. So yeah, there we go. You all have a good day. Bye-bye.